In this example, we're going to have a look at first simplifying an algebraic fraction to show. So the command term show gives us the answer, and this is our goal, which we want to work towards. Then we can use this result, hence show, hence use the result above, to do this integral. So given this, and we know this equivalence, which is shown above, we can do a simpler integral of these two separate pieces. So let's begin by knowing that when we subtract algebraic fractions, well, all fractions, follow the same rule, we need a common denominator. So we need to multiply in the first fraction, the top and bottom, by x minus 1. Subtract, multiply the top and bottom by x plus 4. Keeping in mind our goal, now we can expand the brackets on the top and the bottom. Don't forget about this negative sign. And 3x minus 3 minus 2x, negative 2 times 4, whoops. negative 8, or subtract 8, and expanding the brackets, x squared minus x plus 4x minus 4, gives the result we are after, 3x minus 2x is x, minus 3 subtract 8 is minus 11, so that looks good. Collecting our like terms, x squared plus 3x minus 4. Good. So since that is accomplished, again, we can use the result, and we are going to integrate from negative 2 to negative 1, but now we can do this much simpler. 3 over x plus 4 Subtract 2 over x minus 1 with respect to x. And that is 3 natural log of x plus 4, definite integral, minus 2 natural log of x minus 1. And negative 2 is the lower bound, negative 1 is the upper bound. Since we're evaluating the definite integral, this is our goal. This is pretty long, so let's do a little bit of our laws of logs. We'll bring that power up, and by subtracting, we can divide through our laws of logs. So x plus 4 cubed over x minus 1 squared. This is going to be a much simpler form. And you notice here you have a fraction. Here you have a fraction. This 5 can also, just to keep in mind, be up there as a power. So let's try to get towards that. First, we're going to want to substitute in our upper bound. So the natural log. x gets replaced with minus 1 plus 4 cubed. On the in the denominator, minus 1, minus 1 squared. Fundamental theorem of calculus, we're subtracting the natural log. Now negative 2 gets substituted in for x. And negative 2 subtract 1 being squared. All right, we're getting closer. So we need a 3 on the numerator, a 2 on the denominator, and a power of 5 on both. Okay, minus 1 plus 4 is indeed a 3, so that is good news for us. Negative 1, negative 1 is negative 2 squared, which is actually the same as 2 squared, because a negative number squared. Natural log, negative 2 plus 4 is 2 to the power of 3. Negative 1, subtract 1 is negative 3, 
negative 3 squared is the same as positive 3 squared. Now we're getting close. Let's take our laws of logs and again, since we are subtracting, we're going to divide by Now, that gives us 3 cubed over 2 squared times the reciprocal, 3 squared over 2 cubed, and we are nearly there. That 3 cubed times 3 squared is 3 to the power of 5, 2 to the power of 5, and look at that. Both to the power of 5, the 5 can come out front, natural log, 3 over 2, and we have reached our goal.